Hello YouTube. In this video, I am going to show you how to root Xperia LC2104 with firmware 15.3.8.1.14, which is the latest gelatin software for Android. So, the rooting uh, process is simple. You first you have to download two files that is Java SD Development Kit 7 and Android SDK. Now, I will give these two links in description so you can download it from there. Now, open this link Java SD Development. And scroll down here, accept this virtual agreement, and then download uh, uh, for your uh, Windows architecture that is 32 bit or 64 bit. Download from here, and to download Android SDK, just click this button and uh, download this file. Now, these two files are large files, and the download will take some time. So, download it uh, completely, and uh, after you are downloading it, just uh, run the setup of Java Development Kit. Mine is located here. Yeah. So I've done already installed it and done everything. So I didn't need to do this at uh, this time. And uh, install this. And after you install this, just uh, the Android SDK which you downloaded will be in compressed format with uh, this one, ADT bundle Windows. So open it with some extractor and extract it from there. I've extracted it here. Here. Now to open SDK Manager, just click on uh, this, and if it does not open, just go to SDK Platform Tools. Oh, it's open. And in case it did not op uh, open, so just. Uh, Go to SDK Platform Tools and run ADB. It may, then the manager will start. So after you, you have opened this manager, you have to download and install two packages. The first one is this Android SDK Platform Tools, and the other one is this. And uh, this one, Google USB Driver. Now you see, I have uh, already. Uh, Downloaded the, these two and installed these two, so I don't need to do this. So I uh, take these two Google USB driver and, and make sure that nothing more uh, is ticked. So Google USB driver and uh, Android SDK and install one package here. You, you will, it will be written install two packages. I've already installed this Android uh, platform tool, so it is having one package. So click on this and it will uh, start to. Uh, Downloading these two packages, it will install this, it will do everything on the phone, and when, when, the, when the process is completed, it will show the channel downloading packages. Now, you have to download a root kit. I will give the link in description, you will download it from there. And uh, this is the root kit, this one, root kit Asturia L. Now open it. Now after this, turn on your phone and then go to settings. Then scroll down to uh, if you don't get this developer options, just click on about phone and tap this build number uh, at least seven times. Then you will become a developer and this this option will be available. Now open this option. Then turn on developer options. Okay, and then. Scroll down and select USB debugging. Um, the, oh, press OK on this message and uh, go back. Then go to security and make sure that this one is strict unknown sources. After you have done this one, your mobile work is completed. Now, after you have done that, which I just showed uh, on my mobile, connect your mobile with USB debugging enabled. Uh, USB debugging is very important while connecting. So enable USB debugging and then connect your phone. Close PC companion if you uh, have it. If you want to make sure that your uh, ADB driver is installed, just press Windows plus R. Type D E B M G N T dot M S C. Press enter. This will open a device manager and. Uh, then scroll down and see here Sony SO1013 and here it will tell Sony SO1013 ADB interface driver. If it does not show up, make sure, uh, 
your USB device may be disabled. So enable it and then connect your uh, mobile again. So after you have done this, just uh, go to the root kit. Click on this and uh, then click on install. As, uh, as soon as you click on install, it will open the and don't let the uh, don't do anything with your device using, during the booting process and uh, don't let the connection between your mobile and uh, laptop break. So wait for some time; it will reboot automatically, and then you will see the in the app drawer. A super user icon will be available. That is your device is rooted. Now you can enjoy it with uh, your rooted device. And uh, thanks for watching my video.